Damn it! What's up? I'm trying to get inside the armory, but I suck at this. I'd love to do it the usual way and blow this door wide open, but Reese doesn't want us to make too much noise. Can you help me? Job, Rivers. Huh. Bummer. There's barely anything left. Looks like I lost a bet. A bet. What'd you mean? Evans has a theory that people here packed and left. I didn't think much of it at first. But an empty armory certainly is a head scratcher. I guess we've got to keep looking. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to do a sweep of the entire area, but there's a back room on the ground floor that I couldn't get into. It's blocked by a bunch of stuff that I couldn't move. 
Can you grab Evans and see if the two of you can clear it? Sure. I'll let him know. What do you think about this whole situation? I think it's obvious something fucked up happened here. I'm just mad at myself that I didn't see this coming. How so? Well, whenever Reese gets a direct order from Connor, something's off. I don't know what the deal is between them. They always keep their cards close. So, this happens a lot? More than I'd like it to, that's for sure. I just wish Reese included me since I'm always on these missions anyway. What's Reese like? You've worked with him for a long time. You want to know what Kyle Reese is like? He's like... stone. Or steel. Nothing ever gets to him. For better or worse. What do you mean? This is the first time we've been able to take a minute to ourselves since the failure of our last mission, you know? And he's been up all day trying to figure out our next move. He's able to just disconnect, work himself tirelessly, as if nothing happened even if a lot of shit happened. I'm sure it's because he cares for his people. I'd say that he cares for the mission more than his people. And here I am, trying to hold it together, thinking about the people we lost, and not doing a good job at it. Well, you wanted to know about Reese, not me. That's what he's like. Rivers, report to the communications room when you have a minute. Yeah? Uh, Pharaoh mentioned there's a back room nearby that needs checking. Can you help me? She said it's a two-man job. Just let me know when. How did you know we wouldn't find anything in that armory? I've been trying to work on the car, but the garage here is missing some tools. The only things still lying around here are what the protocol deems inessential equipment. The things that are supposed to be left behind during an evacuation. Those people were packed and ready to go. Do you think it's safe to stay here. That group of T-600s that we destroyed yesterday is a discontinued infiltration unit. They tend to malfunction. I doubt they're still connected to Skynet, so they couldn't give out our location. We're safe here. Having said that, I don't like the direction we're inching towards. North? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go and see what's in that room. So, is it true, what they said in the car, that you took down a Terminator with your bare hands? It's true. How'd you do that? I didn't even know someone could do that. I was angry. Now focus, we have a job to do. This is it. How do you want to do this? Check what's inside. I'm heading back.
Is this where you are? Sarge, I've got a hold of some intel regarding someone who used to live just outside the shelter. Permission to follow the lead. Permission granted. Just remember we don't want to alert Skynet to our presence here, so I need you to move undetected. Copy that. We don't need Skynet's eyes on us right now.
This doesn't make any sense. Resistance soldiers came to evacuate them? I need to report this to Reese. Sergeant, what's going on? Someone used an emergency broadcast system to deliver a message. One of ours? Judging by how inaccurate the message is, it's more likely sent by a civilian. One of our missing residents? That's what we'll need to figure out. It's our best lead so far. I found something. A note from someone who witnessed Northridge being evacuated. By what appeared to be resistance soldiers. That's right. That's what I was afraid of. Good job, Rivers. Now that we're certain of what happened here, there's no other way but to follow the signal. Then we're moving out soon? No. We leave at dusk. I don't want us to move around in daylight. Oh, and Rivers? There's something else about that message that concerns me. It's been sent from somewhere inside Bakersfield. Isn't that just on the edge of the Annihilation Line? That's right. We're moving out as soon as it gets dark. Now's the time to rest.
We've received permission from HQ to follow the signal. Next stop is Bakersfield. That's two hours away from the nearest resistance outpost. So if it gets too heated, there's no chance of support? That's right. Anyone have a problem with that? No, sir. I've got one thing, Sarge. Farrell? Shotgun. Shotgun? I only brought my rifle. Um... Okay, forget it. <laughs>